Here's the scenario. You just finished your Zoom recording. You've got a folder that has something labeled audio only, playback Zoom, and audio record, which is an individual audio file for each person that was on that Zoom call. And the Zoom zero is gonna be the video and audio, and this is gonna be audio only, just like it says. You wanna edit all of these in Premiere Pro. Sync them and edit them together. So I've got Premiere Pro open here. I'm gonna just drag and drop all of the files into Premiere Pro into your project panel. Yeah, ignore that error. That's just telling you that one of those file types isn't usable. What's fine, we don't really need that one anyways. So in here, you can see we've got that audio only file. We've got the Zoom file, which is gonna be the video. And then we've got that audio record, which is all of those individuals. Now you can simply just take the Zoom one and drag it over to your timeline. And it is gonna give you the video and everybody's audio. And you can just edit that if you want, uh, which is easy enough. But the problem with that one is that you're not gonna have each individual file. Now you could, if you want, just go over and drag each of them on there if you want, but you'll actually find that they're not gonna be perfectly in sync. And so the way to deal with that is you want to grab each of your audio files that you wanna use. You want to grab that Zoom video file we don't care about the audio only one because we already have that. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to go right click, you're gonna go merge clips, you can name it whatever you want, I'm just gonna leave it under the merged one, leave everything at a default, hit okay. Now it's gonna create this one called merged. We'll drag that and notice what it did here so you can actually see that it lined up everything where it's supposed to be. And what Zoom does here, and it's actually kind of annoying feature, is that it's actually um, having each person's audio file go along with like when they joined the call and versus actually when the call originally started. Uh, but luckily Premiere Pro is smart enough to know to uh, sync it on various sound points and it's pretty good. Sometimes it might be off, so sometimes you might have to manually do it. So let's say this one here at the end actually is supposed to be up a little bit further. You can click on the whole thing, right click, go unlink, and then grab whichever one you need to do to manually move it. But uh, like I said, Premiere Pro is really good about syncing automatically on its own. What you can also do, what I usually do, let's put this back where it was, and relink them. So what I'll usually do is I'll take that first one, and this is gonna be the file that has everybody on it, and I'm just gonna mute that to get it out of the way. So this way, I know each one of these is the individual person. And what I'll then do is I'll actually go through, I'll listen, and I'll take the first one here. Yeah. I hope you got your so that one I know is this guy talking and so what I'll actually do is double click on that and then I'll click down here and I'll go rename and then that way I know as I'm editing which one goes to each audio file it just kind of makes my life a little bit easier in the editing process so that's it that's all you need to know about syncing your audio on a Zoom call for the edit. If you want to know how to do additional editing stuff, uh, there's a bunch of stuff on this channel in regards to editing in Premiere Pro.